My name is Darius, and welcome back to the world that was. Today, I'll be making some date-filled cookies, described as being religious votive offerings to the Sumerian deity Inanna, which was also known as Ishtar to the Akkadians, Babylonians, and the Assyrians. It's unknown exactly how these cookies were prepared, being that they were only described as date-filled parcels of dough. So, I've reconstructed these based on modern Iraqi culinary traditions. In any case, let's now take a look at the world that was. Start this by pouring a cup's worth of flour into a mixing bowl, along with a pinch of salt, a few tablespoons of ground cumin, and a few tablespoons of cardamom powder. Whisk this all together so it's well combined. Then, pour 100 grams worth of melted butter into this, along with a large squeeze of honey. Mix all of this together for a while until it starts to crumb together into large clumps. If it's not hydrating that well, pour in a few tablespoons worth of milk, a little bit at a time, and mix it through. When you can't mix it anymore, knead it by hand in the bowl until it's very smooth and comes away from the side of the bowl easily. Put this aside while you work on your filling. In any case, now we need to make our date filling. Do this by pouring a cup's worth of dates into a saucepan, along with some ground cumin, some more ground cardamom, and another generous squeeze of honey. Top off the pot with some water so the dates are just about covered by it. Place all of this onto a medium heat and let it cook away for a few minutes. Stir this occasionally. Depending on your dates, they might break down faster or slower than mine, but it should turn into a lovely smooth jammy mixture that is honestly good enough to eat on its own. When it's done, take it off the heat and let it cool down to room temperature. Now we need to take our dough and prepare our kulupu. Take your dough and place it on a sheet of baking paper. Using a rolling pin, roll this out as thin as you can, about as thick as a finger. Roll it into a rectangle as best as you can. Place a few dollops of your date jam across the center of your dough and start to spread it out evenly, leaving some space around the edges of the rectangle. It doesn't matter if it's imperfect, it'll turn out amazing. Roll the dough into a log shape. Depending on your dough and the consistency of your jam, this may be cleaner or messier than you can see what I'm doing here. In any case, roll it all into a log and place it seam side down on the baking sheet. Using a sharp serrated knife, cut the log into segments, each about two to three fingers in width. This recipe will make about eight kulupu in total. Place your kulupu so the spirals are facing upwards. Sprinkle the tops of these with some sesame seeds and toss them into the center of an oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes, or until they turn a lovely golden brown color. Take them out when they're done, let them cool down slightly, and dig in. The finished cookies are amazingly flavorful and extraordinarily filling. The dough is crumbly yet soft, you can adjust the sweetness of this by changing how much honey you add to the filling too. Fennel seeds could also have been added here to add a kind of licorice taste to it as well. This recipe leans very heavily on modern Iraqi klecha, which are traditionally eaten at id. Given that many modern dishes are adjustments of older culinary traditions, it's not entirely unlikely that klecha are a continuation of Bronze Age Mesopotamian kulupu. The flour used in this recipe was a plain white flour, something that wouldn't have been accessible for many Sumerians in antiquity, so a wholemeal flour may have been a better substitute here. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed this look at the world that was. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like on this video, or possibly even subscribing to my channel for some more ancient recipes.